Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am doing a review on the 2018 Summer Conventions exclusive limited edition Glow in the Dark 4 from 4 Ragnarok. And my friend managed to pick this up for me in Tesco's. What a diamond. He actually found it in there in my local Tesco's. I never thought we would get it in there, but he managed to grab it for me. This 4 was £15. It's a really nice looking figure. Let's take a closer look at the box. We've got that all important sticker that we all love. Uh, for glow in the dark like i said it is exclusive to tesco's in the uk i'm not sure where in america but we've got four there nice artwork of four on the side the rest of the ragnarok uh, wave on the back you can get valkyrie loki hella hulk um, heimdall and then the normal regular four not much going on on this side four peeking over on the top I will take this out for this review, obviously, but this will be a figure I will keep in box. I'm going to be quite careful when opening the packaging because I'd like to display him in my inbox collection. Right, so here's four out of the box, and first thoughts is this is a really nice looking pop figure. I really like those details of the lightning bolts wrapping around his fist. Obviously, this is from the bit in Ragnarok where he loses Mjolnir, his hammer, and he has to channel the powers, uh, his powers through himself, and he finally gets to do that when he battles his uh, evil sister, Hela. And obviously, he gets his hair cut by Stan Lee in the film, which is quite a funny, uh, a funny moment because the Grandmaster wants him to have a, a haircut ready for his battle. But it's a nice looking pop. I mean, um, the detail on the eyes is really cool. And I love the way that this eye is solid. As you can see there, that's actually sculpted on. And that eye's got like a dip to it, where he's obviously lost his eye in the actual film. Yeah, so that's really cool. And obviously, that marks, obviously, the fact that he lost his eye. But he does gain his eye back in Avengers. And yeah, it's a nice looking piece. At the front here, you can see he's got a um, really nice looking armor. The detail's really nice on that and on his belt buckle. That looks really cool. He's got his brown shoes on there. And the lightning effect's nice. A nice um, glow-in-the-dark paint throughout. And then on the back of the figure, which does fall quite frequently. Does fall quite quickly. He's got his ripped cape and all his tattered and torn cape from battle. But yeah, he's looking um, he's looking really, really nice. And it's a really good-looking uh, four figure as well. I like the head sculpt. I like the haircut. I do think four does look better with the short hair. I know some of the ladies out there might not think Hemsworth looks better without the short hair. But I definitely do um, not um, mind the change of the character. But yeah, this is a great looking pop. And let's actually see if it glows in the dark, shall we? There we go, guys. There he is. Like, the room's dark I'm in right now. And as you can see, he's glowing there. He's had the um, studio lights on him. And um, he's got the glowing around his wrist there. And then one of his eyes is glowing just to show he's got one eye. It's not perfectly dark in here because it's still light outside. But you guys can make that out. That's really, really cool. And for £15 at Tesco's, this is a great exclusive. Right, guys, with the lights back on, 4 is a really cool looking figure. And I love the fact that the one of the eyes glows and one of them don't. That's really, really cool just to symbol his one eye. And I really like the, um, the glowy effects. Overall, it's a really, really cool figure. I really do like this. And I would definitely recommend heading down to your local Tesco's and picking him up. And um, I hope you enjoyed the review of him, guys. It was only a brief little review, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button if you did. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of for this pop and if you've picked it up in your local Tesco. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell as well. And follow me on all my um, social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Links in the description below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.